Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're here playing the return. No, return of Oberdin. No, return of the Oberdin by Lucas Pope. And this is part of my Steam cleaning series where I go through every game in my Steam library eventually. Then arbitrarily rate and or review them after a wee bit of playtime. Now, I do know what this game is because I looked into the creation of this. This is an uh, insurance adjuster at sea and done in a one bit, one bit style. Uh, that's about as much as I know. So we're going to dive in here and figure it out together. Begin. Also some weird time travel. Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship Oberdin, built in 1796 London. 800 tons, 18 foot draught. Captain R. Rittle, crew 51 men. Last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous on Met. Contact East India Company, London office for inquiries or testimony. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London office. The Oberdin has returned, dispatched to Falmouth immediately and prepare for full assessments. The Hon Honorable East Indian Company. Fairmouth, England, 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. It's true. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. Nah, it's fine. What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. What? Amazing what you do with two colors. But one color is off a color. Off is a color. Black is a color. White is a color. I think they. I think I'm supposed to open the box. Oi! Oi! It's too heavy. Ugh! They're worthless. Okay. It's too heavy. Yeah, yeah. Take it yourself or open it here. It's a book. How heavy could it be? D. Card catalog of adventure and tragedy. I trust you don't find yourself at the board that did, and I expected this day to come in my every interaction. Every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale with the pages of the book. Regrettably failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence in the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first and it all makes sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone on board. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by a guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the detail within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Oh wow. The ship, deck plans. These are people? Alright. Oh, I gotta figure out who everybody is. Who is Robert Widoms? I don't know. All right. Loose cargo. A bitter cold. All right. Oh, hold on. All right. No, nope. how do I? How do I, how do I done with the book? Tab. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's a cool effect on the watch. Memento Mortem. Remember death. I think the spy from uh, TF2.
All right. Let's do the time warp again. Captain, open the door. Kick it in. Ah, uh -huh. lest we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may taste exactly what I give you. All right. Okay, so the captain, this is the captain. So we hit tab. The crew. The captain. I don't have a good shot. He's got a strong face there. That looks like the captain to me. How do I say yes? Oh, I have to go here. Who is Robert Whittle? Is that wrong? Mm hmm. That is what. Okay. Who are you? the doorway out okay well I don't think I can get past them that person was shot Okay. Don't know. All right. All right. We don't know who it is. Faces were recognized. All right. This person was shot. By Captain. Memories of a person appears. Soul spins one memory. First memory. Okay. Part one, the end. Captain. Okay, so we know who the captain is. We don't know who that is. Okay. So they're giving us some some. All right, this is our midnight room exit door. Do do. 
be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. And Capitan really, uh, all right, so that person was shot. The other person came in here, struggled with the captain who cut their throat. All right. Load times are kind of... Okay. I don't know who that is. Alright, another exit point here. So this must be hopefully the tutorial, so this has gotta be the Kappa. Captains. I know who that is. Oh, but the captain's been stabbed. And then... I don't know who this is. Huh. Alright, so I found all the clues in this scene. Don't know who any of these people are yet. I don't know. I still don't know who these people are. It's kind of weird I have to walk back here to get to the door, but I guess they're making certain size sees certain scenes. This is finally the captain. Abigail, your brother, my friend. I shot him dead. I'll be with you. Abigail's brother was shot. Please forgive me. 
He's gonna shoot himself. All right, well, Captain Suicide. I know her. So the brother was shot. Okay. So I need to find... Alright. Uh, the crew? There can't be many Abigails. Oscott Whittler. Oscott? First mate. Um... Um, hold on. um, it's kind of hard to navigate this book. Oh, this one's uh, William Hoscott, first mate with shop. Okay, so that one's that one's right. All right, tab, close book. Okay, I don't know what, I don't know what detail closes the scene. Shot. By. Um, enemy beast. No. Suicide. Gone. Okay. That could be anybody. Okay. Or four. Kick it in. All right. I don't know who are saying these things. I mean, you cannot deduce with confidence. All right. Well, it's good they're telling me I can't figure it out yet. All right. Does Abigail know anything?
Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Abigail. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. A lot of people are present. The Doom. <laughs> That's Abigail. Use the manifest. Six people on board. Cross elimination. Good luck. So we know who those two are. So we're gonna get our way through here. So Abigail. Uh, she was clubbed by a. Beast? Well done. Three fates correct. All right. Club to death by terrible beast. Shot by Captain Witterall. Oh, so they lock in from a sketch. And we're done. Wait, what? Oh, this person's also dead. So we're going two layers now. All right, we're following the mystery. gun toss so you're saying so he's still fuzzy I cannot solve him who's the piggy I want to know how the piggy died they're not going to tell me how the piggy died
They were... torn apart by a terrible beast. All right. All right, so we got to find corpses within scenes to find out more information. Follow the clues. All right. Keep holding. Stay on target. Really cool effect. Well, that's the sword guy. Or the torn in half guy. So weird with the boat a kill uh off kilter like this. Well, there's our exit door. I missed one. Uh... Okay. Well, I feel like I need to... ...solve another set of deaths. Okay. That door is locked. That door is locked. I like the, U the UI de UX design saying, Nope. Locked. Put an X on it. Point at it. Well, this y'all been crushed. It's gotta be a stressful job. Is that a person? I wanna think there's a person down there.
crushed. All right, so they're saying I have enough information. I don't need to bookmark this anymore. Uh, they're saying I have enough information to... solve some of these, right? Unknown passenger. How would I know who this is? Like those... Torn apart by beast. I don't know who that is. I don't know how they died. Yeah, I don't know what clues I'm missing. Yeah, I knew there was another body here. Backed away at the last second. That sounds bad. Well, I think I know how they died. He's a gunnery man. Okay. I feel like I got the people in this scene. It's confusing to me to know when this uh, iris comes in or not. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm triggering it. I don't know enough about that. There's another corpse? All right, that was the one I found earlier that I couldn't get access to. That's, again, sounds bad. Okay. 
Okay. that guy again. I feel like I'm missing a critical element to this game where it, um, where it, um, like I feel like I'm missing a lot of hints or I don't know enough. Like I'm, obviously, I'm figuring out what the deaths are. Uh, crushed by beast. Like, I'm collecting narrative bits. Oh, no, you're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I Oh Pete's mother. Best. Aye. I to pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! <laughs> that must be the doctor. Are you Brennan? All right, are people clubbed to death? Anything else going on in here? So you're the doctor. All right, escape. Don't leave me. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Looks like he just blooded out. Expired? No. I don't know enough of them. I don't know. Uh, uh, like there's not, hold on, let's follow the blood trail. Were they clubbed here? I mean, maybe?
Come on, ghost. Alright, you were stabbed. Uh... Knifed. You were clubbed. You had your face shot off. Well, this person, they got clubbed by someone. I mean, you can't go very far for this. This guy just been around, yeah. Yeah, that got on the ceiling. What, why is it? Supposed to be dumped overboard. Let the 
Alright, lots more bodies. A lot of people. What's the captain? Well, they were shot also. And they really just dive you through a bunch of corpses all at once. I wanna know what that thing is out in the ocean. Yep, spin around. There must be like a spot where something sank there, like the lifeboat or something. Last one. Move quick. Oh, it's Paul. That's Paul. That was Paul. This is some guy. There's Clubman. Captain. A lot of people down here. Not doing too well. Paul Moss. Both a sword. Another one.
All right. Um, this has been the return of the Obra Dinn. Um, I'm not currently enjoying it. Um, I love the visual style. I love the theming. Uh, mechanically, though, either I'm missing something major or the cognitive load this game is asking is far more than I'm willing to invest right now. Uh, that could be me, obviously. Lots of people have enjoyed this game quite a bit. The issues I'm dealing with is that um, you keep chaining, 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 and it keeps telling me, like, you can't answer this, you can't answer this, you can't answer this. And because of that, I'm getting frustrated because like I don't feel like I'm making real progress, and then having to unwind this is like a huge mental knot that I'm just not, you know, super excited to dig into. The other part about it mechanically is the pacing is just really annoying like sometimes the iris comes in really quick sometimes the iris comes in slow you got to follow these ghost trails around and it just goes at a rate that seems very uh prescriptive and if you try to go against it you just can't and that's um i feel like a passenger in this kind of setup and that's not as fulfilling as I had hoped. Put me down. Let me go. Easy now. You're in a bad way. It's a squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The, that. the beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. You should rest. Curse like that. Does that bid for nothing? I think this guy is the doctor. I kind of wish there was some more quality of life stuff that would tell you like where, like if you know this person on like a little title over the head is like, yo, you know who this is? Because the visual fidelity while uh, you know, striking I can't tell half these people apart. And I know there's some factors where like the accent of the person talking, because it does tell their nationality. So you like, you go, oh, that's a German accent, but I need the subtitles to tell me German versus Italian versus French a lot of times. I just don't pick up on them. It's not a strength that I have. So um, I, I feel that there are some uh, accessibility things that are missing. I, I, don't, I don't know how they died. Like they could have died from anything. All right, so we finally have our exit door. Step out of all these deaths. So like after an hour playing, I would have hoped to have gotten another set. I just don't feel like I know enough. It's appearances. Four wayward souls disappear during the events of this chapter. Um. Live? Oh, we could find out where they are. Reduction rating? Okay. So once again, the game's telling me like, haha, this is too tough. This is fuzzy, so we can't get it. So like... Um... Yeah, I just... 
I, I clearly am not good at this game, but I feel like it's not um, compelling. Like I, I don't, I don't want to engage. Like it feels like I have to be taking notes or, or listening to incredibly fine details. And you know, I get it. That's what the game is. And I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's just saying that I don't want to play more of it. And when it comes down to whether I recommend it or not, I look at this and go like. Who would I tell to play this game? And I'd be like, well, if you want to do a research project on a on a cool looking boat, yeah, but I I just struggle with what that would be. So so right now the fact that the controls are finicky, the timing on the iris is um, hard to control, and the details are supposed to dig out and the lack of quality of life. So it just it it's it's more stress than fun right now, and that's the main reason why I. Uh, I can't honestly recommend the Return of Oberdin, which is a bummer because I really wanted to because I, I love the way it looks and I love the style. It's just I don't want to play anymore. Like if I want if I was going to go any further, I would have to bring up a guide or something because I'm just I'm missing enough clues where I just feel like the logic leaps are going to be massive and I don't want to I don't want to deal with that. So Return of the Oberdin, I'm missing something. Cheers.